all right gangs welcome back to another exciting tutorial right now i want to take a look at what is called uh for loop all right uh without no further ado let's say for instance for loop it's one of the um and one of the example of looping so what it does is that let's just scroll start creating it you use a keyword called for and open and close brackets you are create the curly brace and um so inside this place you create what is called a counter so that counter is in form of variable let's say let i i is a convention you can use it you can use count is there is just a way of making it simple so this thing that i did means you've just successfully created what a counter so another thing you're going to create is a condition so now don't forget whenever you're talking about condition you have you have to be comparing with um comparison like the greater, greater than less than or soft stuff like that so um let's say i is now less than eight you, if you notice i'm terminating with semicolon okay and i say this second thing is a condition so the first thing is um, counter the second thing is condition and the third thing you are going to have inside that open and close bracket is called iteration so iteration is what controls it like i treat okay fine let's say i is equal to it plus plus so the last one you are not what you are not terminating okay so what we're not going to do is that let's say um let i be equal to zero i is less than eight and i plus plus okay so let's say console.log console.log dot log this is pretty easy and i say we are looping through i so we uh Looping through a counter. Okay, counter. So now what we're gonna do is that um let's um have something like um uh, 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 uh concatenate it by saying I okay. So let's see what's going to happen at the end of inside our console. So here, yeah, I think I have to. I think I, I have to make sure that these things stay by each other side so that I'll, I'll be able to. So, but if you look at it, okay, fine. I've not actually linked it. I always forget. Sorry. Uh, uh, let's say source is equal to JS plus sandbox, and that's it. All right, look at it. We are looping through our counter 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You can see this thing counts from 0 to 7. So let me now quickly explain. You can see. We are looping through our counter 0, 1 to 7. So what happened in there is that it checks. This counter is what controls it. The, the moment the, the counter discovered that this thing is equal to 0, start from 0. And it started increasing the value until it is less than 8. This is the condition do you understand all right that is it so it's pretty easy so the next thing i want to understand is that we cannot be determining the last value of our condition what if you want to create probably a, a, a variable called probably an array of the technique uh, js ninja so we have my let to be like um js ninja i said js ninja Say JS Ninja to be equals to don't forget our name. <laughs> Let's use it this time. Let's use it um, the way we normally do it. I just uh, let's say here yeah, in there, I've um, hash is part of them. Let's say Omorola is part of them. Let's say Aisha is part of them. Let's say Rashid is part of them. Let's say Vic, Vicky is part of them, and um, let's say uh, I think I just let me just add one more. Let's say Daniel is part of them. So if you have this and you want to cycle through, let me comment this out. All right, you just say. For don't forget, curly brace 
inside this for i need a counter let's say i let's i because the variable to be equals to what zero and um equals to zero let i to be equals to zero i is equals to zero and then we terminate the semicolon so this is where the magic comes in your counter is going to be like i is less than what is the js ninja js ninja dot length okay so you have to terminate with the semicolon as well and then um, say okay once you have term you've terminated let's say i plus plus all right it's pretty easy let's say i plus plus you can see this is where what this you understand what this literally means is what we normally use for our properties of our variable to know the numbers of people that are in a so we want to say console.log now let's say console.log 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 and this will what this will give us is that okay fine all right if it is um the it's i that you want to know see okay fine let's see what's gonna happen if you actually print i so you can see if you are printing i that means we are printing 0 1 2 3 4 5 wow well let's go check it out 1 2 3 4 5 6 that means we have 6 and don't forget i restart from 0 all right so we are good so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have like 6 js ninja but i don't want this number to be showing all i want is that i want the name to show instead of the number so i just have to say js ninja because it is an array that's why you have the square bracket and i'm going to have i instead of it so let's check it out whether this thing is going to give us it's going to display the name instead of displaying the number wola fash omolola aisha roshi vicky and daniel they are all displayed all right this is pretty easy so now what of if you want to do some trick trick and probably you just decide to want to add put this thing inside a, a template uh, probably string using inside probably using an html tag i can decide to say okay fine inside the diff tag i can decide to comment this out and say let html html to be equals to to be equals to probably template and then backticks and um, inside this backticks i can have uh, a div i can have the div okay i can have a div and the div that i'm having should be closed and inside this div uh, that's when i will have um, my uh, variable and don't forget this is how we normally do it and um, inside this place i'll have my js ninja js ninja and uh, my js ninja will have what an i and um can terminate with semicolon so if I want to say console console.log this is getting more and more interesting. I'll just type HTML HTML HTML. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. You can see all these things are enclosed in diff tag. So all these things that are enclosed in diff tag, I can actually bring them into my HTML. That is where DOMS comes in. We've not actually gotten to that, but just understand the concept. You can see it's pretty easy. We're able to understand the concept of how to use our for, and we understand the concept of how to actually make use of this thing alongside with a variable. And we understand how to even use template string alongside with it to put our div tag inside of it. This is pretty easy. Hope you really understand this tutorial. <laughs> this is what I'm actually going to start for now. I know you have a lot of questions right in here how to ask. I'll be willing to answer all these questions in the Google Classroom. Trust me, we are into this together and I won't stop until all of you guys become the developer that you are aspiring to become. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we are going to be taking a look at what while is all about. Until then, see you. Bye for now.